I'm at Web Wheel with my friend Byron, and we are standing in front of the newest watch on machine. This just went live last Thursday, and and this is a bit of a different sell, you know? We've been looking at the, the mid volume, we've been looking at the high volume lines, but right here, we're specifically looking at balancing. So everybody out there, if you've driven in a vehicle, you know how critical balancing is. So how did you guys work with Watch On to, to make the balancing happen for your rims? You know, this one's been a pretty fun project uh, for me and my team, Arthur. We uh, take a lot of pride in it. But, you know, we, we were challenged, as we always are, by our upper management at Webb uh, to always be looking for the greatest innovation that there is out there. Uh, there's a lot of great balancing companies out there. We've worked with many of them, had a lot of success over the years. But the challenge was given to us to improve the entire process not just go buy another off-the-shelf balance, okay? So when the team all got together and started looking for us, the, the general concept was is that we pull together every party and let them do the best at what they do. So yeah. wash on being the material handling or the machining side of it, you know, let's let a robot do the material handling. Let's let a balancing company measure the part, tell us how much they're out and what we need to do with it, okay? And then bring all of those parties together. Uh, the greatest thing about Washon out of this was they were very willing to jump in with us and talk with us about some innovative things that we wanted to make happen inside the machine tool, all the way down to taking quite a few ladder modifications to make all this happen. <laughs> So I, I like what you said there, right? You went to each of these experts, the experts in balancing, the experts for the material removal, and you let them figure out everything that they had to do to support you. And then you were the one, one, you got to decide who is the people you're bringing to the table to work with. And of course you're gonna pick Watch On because I mean, you've been working with them for over 10 years now and you've got a great relationship. But the way that you bring it all together, even with the PLC modifications, which is really deep in the weeds on the programming and the logic and the control side of the automation with the robots and the safety bars and all of that, but to really make a successful project. So right now you've got, if I'm seeing this right, you've got the safety systems, you've got the machine removing material, you've got both the balancers like you were talking about, and then you've got one robot and it's able to handle all of the material handling for all of the stations. So what had you decide to, to use one robot for this? Well, again, all of it's a good partnership for us, Arthur. You know, we, we work with automation companies. We have an automation company that we've been a partner with for close to 32 years at this point. Okay. They know our product, they know us, they know how tough an environment it is to work in. So, you know, we rely on those guys a lot. We come to them with a general concept of how we would like to see the process operate and work, and then we all get together and brainstorm and come up with a solution. Okay, so when they come back with us with their presentation and says, we're very capable of doing this with one robot, and here's how the process is gonna go, and they most times send us a simulation to show us what they're thinking, and then we all agree on it that, from that point. Yeah, I, I love the level of simulations that you can start to do now because because way back when you guys would have started working on your automation, I would imagine there was way more trial and error. Like, oh, let's put all these pieces together. Uh, it didn't work out quite right. But it sounds like automation's come a really long way on that side of it. There's a lot of the partnership that's now possible. And, and really, it's the mentality at the web wheel, everything that y'all bring to the table and you know to lean on your network, to lean on great partners, like watch on that that really enable you to deliver those products to your customers and and be profitable doing so and continue to grow it is it's been very very fun for me over my i'm, I'm starting to reach some pretty long existence at way of will it's been very fun for me over the years to you be were, involved you've in been growth. here like five years right you're a young man <laughs> yes sir that's that's a very <laughs> fantastic compliment thank you uh but no it has been very exciting uh, all I can do at this point is brag on Web for allowing us to continue to grow, allowing us to keep looking for innovation, allowing us to change. You know, a lot of times 
a lot of the other companies that I speak with and deal with and talking with the automation companies, uh, sometimes companies have a tendency to turn off. It yeah. works. This is what we do, and we're going to continue to do this from now on. You know, and the great thing about Web and the partnerships that we pull together and depend on allows us to move sometimes almost on a yearly basis to completely change the process. Which sounds like there's a whole lot of trust there. Trust in you, trust in the network that you've built. We have a great team here. Yeah. You know, I really at this point wouldn't want to say me, but the trust in our team here at Web has been fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Byron.